freedom. It's being able to do what you want, when you want, how you want to do it. And now, you hold that power in your hands. Hi, I'm Teresa Parente. I'd like to show you how you can use your new Minolta Freedom Camera to capture pictures which will amuse and delight, astonish and amaze, impress and inspire. Pictures that will turn moments into memories. Not all of today's Freedom cameras have the same features, but they all have the same Minolta quality and ease of use to enable you to take great pictures. Depending on which Freedom camera you have, features such as autofocus, a dual or even a zoom lens, an automatic flash, and a self-timer can increase your picture-taking options. And accessories such as teleconverters and camera cases can add to your enjoyment of your new Freedom camera. Your photo dealer will help you select the right one. Let's spend a few minutes chatting about how to get the most out of your new camera. Getting started is simple. First, follow the directions in the instruction manual for putting the battery into your camera. Next, select the film you'll use to take pictures. If you want to end up with color prints that you can show to your family and friends, films with color in the name will give you great memories and Kodacolor Gold 200 is an excellent choice for almost any situation. On the other hand, if you'd like to have color slides, then you'll need to use a film with chrome in the name, like Kodachrome. Keep in mind that in difficult lighting situations, slide film is much less forgiving than print film. Now, let's load some film. Regardless of the model you have, just open the back, drop in a roll of film, and pull the leader across. Make sure that the tab goes all the way to the end, then close the back. You'll know that you've loaded the film correctly when you see the counter go to number one. If it doesn't go to one, try again. That's all it takes to get ready for the fun of photography. Now let's take a look at how some of the features on your camera can help you fill your album with great photos of family and friends. With your new Freedom camera, all you have to do is Position the subject in the frame in the viewfinder and take the picture. With a focus-free camera, everything from about six feet to infinity will be in sharp focus. An autofocus camera, which has a mark to show what the camera will focus on, will focus as close as to the three feet. An auto exposure system gives you the best results under most lighting conditions. Not too light, not too dark. It gives you the perfect balance between light and shadow. When you're finished taking a roll of film, you have to rewind it into the film canister before taking it out of the camera. On some Freedom cameras, this happens automatically after you take the last picture on the roll. On others, you have to manually rewind the film. After it's rewound, just open the back, take the film out, and have it developed as your favorite photo dealer or photo finisher. A photo album will make it easy to relive all the wonderful moments you have preserved on film. But while your camera can take great pictures, you have to see the possibilities that exist. And for that, you need the most basic of accessories, your own eyes. You see, what your freedom captures on film is determined by how you look at the world and how you see that world through the viewfinder of your camera. You can see the land or a landscape. You can see a person or a child. You can be standing still or be part of the action. And that's the difference between taking snapshots and taking really good shots. Let me share with you a few simple tricks that will enable you to get the most out of the pictures you take with your new Freedom camera. They all come under the heading of composition, putting the pieces of a picture together in a pleasing way. First, for most situations, try to get close, really close. Get rid of elements that distract from the subject. Focus the viewer's attention exactly where you want it. Intimate close-ups of family and friends, their smiles, their faces. What makes them important to you? Getting close is the easiest way to create a new and exciting look for your pictures. But of course, people's faces are not all that make up your life. Mountains and rivers, canyons and cities, family groups, sunrises and sunsets. All of these and a lot more and they can all make great pictures but instead of moving in you'll have to back up show more of a scene but that doesn't have to mean a picture like this 
simply putting the subject a little off-center can get a picture like this. Much more interesting, dramatic, dynamic. And since your subject is on one side of the frame, don't leave your viewer wondering what was out there. Have the subject look into the frame. That lets the picture tell the whole story. When you're taking in those broad views, minimize the unimportant elements. If the top of the picture is less interesting, let that occupy less of the frame. If it's the top that you want to show, then minimize the bottom of the picture. A final trick. Approach your subject from an angle that will help make your photograph even more memorable. The most intimate pictures are taken eye to eye, at the same level. So if you're shooting a child, a pet, or something else that's closer to the ground, bend your knees, get down to that level. If you shoot down at them, they'll look small and distant. And by the same token, if you shoot up at something, it becomes bigger and more powerful. 